something just happened recently with the Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals, the baseball team, and Matt Turner, who went out and took batting practice. And I feel like that's a total morning footy segment. But uh, this one was uh, in line with U.S. soccer. Now, Matt Turner went out there, Heath, and yeah. was doing batting practice. And, like, like he went hitting yard. home runs. He went yard, he went yard multiple times. He, he went yard multiple times. I do want to state for the record that I did batting practice with the Kansas City Royals back in the day. And their manager came out and was throwing knuckleballs. And I sat on one, and I hit the foul pole. I guess that counts as a home run, but it wasn't like, you know, run the bases around, you know, start flexing on everybody. Yeah. I mean, I barely – I hit, like, the base of the foul pole. So I guess it counts as a home run, but they weren't like Matt Turner's. And, and so right, – By the way, Jimmy, you know, I just associate your backdrop with whatever you're talking about. Now you're, like, a major White Sox fan in my, in my book, you know? <laughs> like, we were talking a little bit national. No, this I was like, okay, a little Juve, little Juve there. or like Juve, actually, you know, for Team old, old, old school basketball referee if we're talking about, uh, you know, any sort of I'm, references there. But I'm now here at a Foot Locker, Heath. I'm, <laughs> yeah. here, I'm here in Athens, Greece at a Foot Locker. But, but – um, yeah, Matt Turner's home runs. I don't know. We, I think we have some video of it. Producer Alex can throw it up for everybody that's on the YouTube. But the guy was hitting absolute bombs. And so my question for you and for everybody that's listening and if you're uh, or watching, please let us know. Which former U.S. men's national team player do you think would be able to hit bombs like Matt Turner? I do think we picked the right player, Heath, to, to represent us because also, the hand-eye coordination. Why is he left-handed? Why is he left-handed? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. But but the hand-eye coordination of a goalkeeper obviously is going to be a little bit better than a field player. But but I for me what jumps out I think Jay Demerit would probably be pretty good. Multiple sports. Yeah. Uh, Carlos Bocanegra, Gucci Anyewu, uh, a whole bunch of guys that I think would be Clint Dempsey. I think would probably be pretty awesome. Well, if you, you know, can, if you can get, you think? if you can get uh, Morning Footy to just do a cross-sport competition, Jimmy, I'm definitely going to finish in the near the top. We can go. Basketball, we can go some American football drills. We can go baseball. We can go. Um, Damn, dude! I didn't realize we're. Oh yeah, I, dude! I'm going. Five uh, minutes I'm in going, for the flex. Oh, for the flex. You go back and look at some of the stuff, man. Ooh, wee boy! I got some great highlight reels of all kinds of different sports. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm putting myself near the top, Jimmy. Okay. And all I right. also, wow. by the way, I'm also making this proclamation because of the uniqueness of soccer. I would say that your best multi-sport players are going to be the soccer players because 99% of the other athletes say they played soccer and they probably did at some point, but being able to actually go and do soccer is so nuanced that I think we would over index in other sports and those other athletes would probably drop a lot of points in the category of soccer to where I think we went out in the end. Like I, I, no, I that's fair. If we put our best, yeah, I mean, our best multi-sport guys from soccer and soccer was a category against other athletes, top athletes from other sports were winning that wait didn't they have something we had a we had a soccer player back in the what 70s early 80s kyle wrote jr was that who it was and yeah. he would do those competitions against all the other athletes and he'd always win yeah i gotta get that confirmed we'll have producer alex uh looking that up for us but i'm pretty sure sounds like a national driver jimmy it does sound like that <laughs> I, I i don't know if i got his name right now i feel bad if i if i got that wrong but but which players from the current u.s men's national team player pool do you think would be a good two eight athlete. Uh, I, yeah, we see Pulisic is good at chess. That's from Matt. I I kind of think that that uh, Brendan Aronson would be amazing at hockey. <laughs> Just by ch chasing down the puck, field crazy. hockey. He's like a field. Well, like of, anything that's on a soccer hair, field like type of thing. Hair. I think. I don't know. Anything that's just like running and on a soccer field type of thing, you know, Brennan Aronson looks like a lacrosse kid, you know, probably field hockey as well. <laughs> um, but but I, I would say it's always goalkeepers like Tim Howard and I used to argue about this all the time about like who was better at all these things. We used to do basket. I, I've shared it before, but we used to do finish training with the national team. And we do basketball tip-offs to see who had a more explosive jump to win a tip-off. <laughs> just like a completely useless type of game. And we would just, you know, go after these things to be like, who has a higher vertical jump? Who can get off the ground quicker? But I, I definitely think the goalkeepers are just because the nature of it. Generally, a lot of them yeah, right. came into soccer later or chose soccer later because they had all these other sports going on. And then they became like, oh, yeah, you're really good at goalkeeping. This could be something for you. And they're like, nah, but like it's not as fun as shooting threes. You know, and they're like, yeah, but you're not six nine. So this is probably, uh, you know, your, 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 your best bet. So I would say the goalkeepers. Um, Center backs. I think about. I'm trying to think about who else there there would uh, yes, be. Yes, give some center backs some love. Um, by the way, yeah, center backs. I think um, for sure. 
Um, but beyond that, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going midfielder. Like, I know that, like, there's guys now that, like, I know Landon's a really good tennis player. Um, uh, I know that, like, John Thorrington's a really good tennis player. Like, guys that I know that are here locally or have played with the different, you know, the different tennis players. Yeah, sure, here. sure. Um, but if we're talking about, like, multiple, multiple sports that require a number of different, like, skill sets i don't know man i gotta go with center backs and goalkeepers or defenders and goalkeepers i'll call it that because i'm not taking myself out of any category i will go to st louis right now and slug one <laughs> you know ding one you know way out of there where they just everybody turns their head and just nods like they were with matt turner by the way they were all it's one of those things that look like a little cgi you know little editing tricks where it's like ball gets hit and then they see it over the fence but those guys when you see the players they're like oh my gosh dude this guy can actually hit I, I – uh, can I say that Busio looks like he'd be like a top skateboarder? I don't know why I feel that yeah, way about him. Yeah, he'd just be a yeah. sick skateboarder. Or, or, or like I could see Timo Wea being sick at ping pong. You know, like I want them to have these weird arbitrary sports that uh, – I don't know. I, I, I think a lot of our guys would kick ass. And then, and then obviously we have, we have Ocho Cinco who, who is a friend of ours and – the nuance of the game, to your point, like uh, Chad, Chad Ochocinco Johnson, world class athlete, but when it comes to playing the game, to what you said before, very difficult to to like translate some of that of his ability, his world class ability, into being successful at at this particular sport. So, whereas whereas I think we're sitting here saying that because of the base athleticism that we have, that that's required to play at a high level of this sport. That lends itself to being more successful yeah. at all the other Kate, sports. Kate Cowell, Kate Cowell would have been a a a at least a a high D one uh, American football player as a as a running back or or even a linebacker. That's that's his type of build. And he was actually a phenomenal. Like comes from my my area, phenomenal athlete as a sprinter too. He's a sub 11, 100 meter, maybe a mid tens hundred meter sprinter. So he he's like he's got that that sort of build too. That like you know running could run through brick walls type of type of build um i'm happy he's playing the game but yeah i think everybody you could go through and we should do it sometime jimmy you could go through everyone and give them a second sport that i think you'd naturally yeah. fit them into based on their attributes but then there's the ones that are like the all around you know who's our bo jackson you know who's 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 our like multi-sport athlete the kind of guys that eddie johnson was one that i, I i've told the story before we're like unbelievable oh, we, used to, we used to do we used Unreal. to run we used to run routes when we were in residency together and, and do football stuff. I watched him go into the gym without ever working out and pump 225 pounds as a 15 year old on, on the bench press. Like, you know, when everybody was like, dude, look at this guy is yoked over there. And, and, and Eddie was like, nah, no worries. And started just repping out two twenty fives when we were all like, you know, if you could put two forty fives on the bars, you were, you were killing it back then. And he was putting double forty fives and just smashing it. So he was one that like, yeah, Eddie, EJ is a great shout. Not just athleticism, explosive, like all the attributes that he had, but just all the other things that came with that development. He could have he could have literally done done any sport as well and been close to a pro, if not a pro. Okay, I just want to circle back to Kyle Rowe Jr. This guy was an absolute beast. Okay, he earned five caps of the U.S. between seventy three and seventy five. He led the N NASL in scoring in nineteen seventy three. He's a member of the National Soccer Hall of Fame, and he won the this this show called um superstars it's made for television competition where you go up against all the other best athletes and he i think he's the only person that's won it three times no there's another guy that's won it more than that but we're talking herschel walker was in there uh willie galt for all you old schoolers out there and and this dude won it and he was setting the tone i mean he was like the first u.s soccer superstar you know outside of that 1950 team but but you know the that people knew he's like a household name because superstars was such a big deal. I guess it features the 10 top athletes from 10 different sports competing in events that were not their own. And, uh, he crushed it, dude. So shout out to Kyle Rowe jr. Who won the show three times. That's insane. What an absolute animal. So, so I just, that kind of just speaks to what we're trying to say is that okay. the skill set for soccer players definitely yeah. translates. Well, there, Jimmy, there's a new, uh, documentary on the American gladiators on, on, on Netflix that just came out. And I'm just curious, you know, I'm thinking more Jay demerit types would be our best American gladiators to win <laughs> against the American gladiators. That's a whole nother conversation of sport. Um, but man, uh, thinking through that lens of who would have done the best in, in that, in that competition, that's, I'm not really sure who, who it would be, but, um, it'd be pretty funny. I'd also yeah, love our entire funny. national team dressed in the, like the full on spandex outfit. There next is World something, Cup, you know, there is something. I, I hope that some of that gets. I hope Superstars comes back in some capacity because I think it would be cool for one of our top athletes 
to compete against some of the other guys, if only to continue to gain respect with uh, the casual fans in the sport.